All right, guys. Well, welcome back to Subnautica Below. I'm, you know, I went back and I checked. I'm pretty sure we're at negative eight. So below negative eight. What I want to do this episode is basically I uh, like in between this episode and last episode, I went around and I got a whole bunch of ingredients and stuff that I needed. I don't have them with me. Hold on, give me one sec. I went out and I got a whole bunch of like the things that I needed to actually make the sea truck. So if I go up here to where my mobile vehicle bay thing is, I should be able to just make it right away. Hopefully, if nothing goes wrong. So sea truck, one person, sea and space vehicle i'm not sure what the battery life on this thing is going to be like but let's see there's only one way to find out look at that thing you know just off the bat doesn't look like a seat it doesn't look like a like a truck but that's my tacoma right there Ooh. Hey, i kind of do like how it looks though do i like how do i get inside how the fuck do i go inside oh enter sea truck is there no one that talks to me this is whack all right so what i want to do is pilot's last known position that's where i'm gonna go um just because i want to go down to see margaret Maida's base i don't think this thing has any weapons or anything like that so i'm pretty sure it's just like a sea moth where it's just used to go like places so one of my biggest fears before i made this thing was i don't know how deep it can go and uh, just looking at the top right there it can only go 150 meters deep that's fucking terrible so this thing is not gonna be able to take me all the way to margaret Maida's base this thing is going to be more of like an in-between so i'm gonna have to bring it down to like 149 meters and then go down the rest of the way myself and then this will just be like where i can get air from so i don't have to go all the way back up to the surface but right now 150 meters that is ass holy shit margaret Maida, you told me not to come back but i'm back here this no one more i'll, I'll go to 149 no Bro, can you just stay at 149, please? Thank you. So this is um how deep I can go. I think down here is where I st the thing is. So I'm pretty sure it's just straight down this way. Was it this way? I'm pretty sure it was this way. It looks familiar. This little glowing thing right there looks kind of like I'm supposed to go. But yeah, we're right here. Right, so let's see what I can find. It, wait, is it? It wait. Can I actually end? Is this actually powered? Was I just a, was I just being stupid last time? Moon pool. This is good. I actually really need this so I can charge my thing. thing. There is air! Holy- I was just being stupid last time. Okay. Like, get up the fucking ladder, Robin. So, customize prawn suit. Can I get a prawn suit in this game? Like, is that an actual thing? So, this is her prawn suit. The standard issue Mark III prawn has been manually altered by its owner, exchanging one of its hot swappable work arms for the mandible of a young chelicerate. So, how do you say that? Chelis- I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> Assessment. The owner doesn't want you messing around. Well, fuck you, Margaret. If this is your- like, this doesn't look like it's your actual base. Um, this is all looks very- very old and used so what the fuck are you you're kind of cute though oh I told you to stay off my land well you too bad here I am inside of your house next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons Altera I'm not with Altera I'm Robin Ayu I'm looking for information about my sister Sam I think you might have crossed paths bull crap I suggest you take the yeah, time she's short to as fuck your senses and then get off my sea base if you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. So, can I get one of those dog things too? Because that's really dope. I want an actual fucking puppy. Look at him. Look at that behemoth, bro. If I could ride him, like, throughout, like, all, like, the, uh, land portions, that'd be dope as fuck. Oh, wait, she has one of the tablets. She has one of, like, the blue tablets. You're called a snow stalker. Bear, like, and I guess it's kind of like a bear. I don't know what the- he's a mixture of things. Bear-like evolutionary offshoot of the aquatic stalker native to the warmer aquatic biomes of 45. He's supposed to be a stalker? What the fuck happened in the evolutionary process? Process. that is very different the only thing you have the same is like kind of like the mouth and the little spike things on the back everything else you are a completely different fucking animal assessment avoid if entering snow soccer territory is necessary sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks so okay uh let me just uh so this is the reaper that she supposedly killed in the first game that's actually like a really dope mantelpiece like that's dope as fuck mate like margaret margaret you're a badass like look at that bro imagine what Walking into someone's house and they got this shit like just sitting there in their like in their living room you know you're dealing with a badass i would love to hijack your prom suit though is there any other way to get inside or is she just like blocking me off what is this here you're not even in there where the fuck did you go oh she's using the spine of the reaper as a table that's dope too all right so i'll just i'll stay around the area i suppose you know go back into the moon pool if i need air but um i don't know what uh, what else is around here reaper's wine glass like again i'm like horrible at direction 
so I don't want to stray off too far. What is this? Water filtration suit. Reclaims moisture. I guess that's good for now until I get like a better one. Why is my oxygen not coming back? Bro, I'm I'm in the thing. Why the fuck I gotta bounce up and down like this for fucking air? So there's a big cave leading this way. I guess I'll go this way just to check it out. This is cool. What are these things? Large crystal formation. Wow, you don't tell me. I never would have thought it was a crystal. Proceed with oh, we got the uranite and shit. A class creature is near. A Leviathan class creature? Is that what that sound is? Like, what? what is, what, where, where are they? What is that thing? There's something punching a rock. I'm very curious. I'm extremely curious. So give me one sec. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna get oxygen. And then I'm gonna come straight down here because I wanna see a Leviathan. I know that like, that might be the last words of a lot of different people who, you know, are stupid as fuck and are too curious, which is like me. Like, I just wanna see a Leviathan. All right, Margaret Maida, I'm just gonna enter your home really quick. Uh, all I need is oxygen. And then I'm gonna go back down and uh, see what kind of fucking Leviathans they got. All right, let me jump up because I'm not doing that bouncing shit for fucking air. Hold on, get up here get air and then we'll dive in down last time i entered around like what like 90 air so i still have a lot more i did get the rebreather by the way um in between episodes too so if it looks like i have a lot more air than usual it's because of that and man i'm so grateful to have this thing because it makes it way easier to go down deeper oh, for oh you can't get the prawn suit okay cool if i die i die i don't have anything valuable on me right now so that's what it is so that's my first leviathan holy shit you are very very dark Holy shit, he doesn't look that big though. He does look fast as fuck. Bro, he is zooming through these fucking tunnels. Holy shit. Bro, come come back. Actually, no, I gotta go back. I I'm bugging. I f I'm acting like I have a lot of air. Hold on. I saw my first Leviathan. I don't know what he's at. Wait, that's the thing that's in the game cover. All right, I'm probably gonna die here. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna die here. It's it's whatever. I don't, I don't have a lot on me anyway, so I don't really care too much. So that's the first Leviathan that I've seen. He's very- you die. I hate how it says that shit, bro. Like, why are you gonna tell me that I died? I know I died. Oh, wait! I'm in my sea truck! Now, bro, I was already there. Like, is there anything else that I haven't seen at the pile's last known location that it's still there? But, yeah, that's my first Leviathan encounter. Now, that did look like the thing that was in the, um, in, like, the loading screen of this game when you're first, like, booting up. There's, like, this really big, black, girthy, veiny looking thing. Don't take that in a wrong way i did i didn't want to get close enough to actually see what it was because i didn't have a lot of air if i had a bigger o2 tank i probably would have you know had some bigger balls and gone over there to actually check it out but i don't so i don't really want to do that right now but um it looked like i had like a big dinger almost like the little red thing at the tip i'm not sure if that's a stinger or whatever it was i do want to make a moon pool i'm really glad i was able to get that though let me get some food and then i'm gonna see what it takes to actually make a moon pool then i'll probably just make that really quick need lubricant lead and titanium ink it, so i need 10 pieces of oh, i can make this shit like right now hold on i am making a, like a way speedier progress in this game i feel like than the first game um the first game it took me a while to actually get to everything which is why i had like fucking like 25 episodes of that shit or something like that but it was still a good game so i don't really care uh for what game i'm gonna play after this i'm not sure i still i just recently picked up uh god of war like ragnarok i haven't played that one yet i played the first one and that one was pretty good i haven't played ragnarok because especially with new games i just really don't have money like that to be spending seven $70 in every single new game. So a lot of the times I'm just getting new games when they're like on sale or some shit. And Ragnarok was on sale. It was on sale at Best Buy for like 30 bucks. And that's a crazy deal. That's $40 off. Like, believe me, I'm taking advantage of that shit. So I bought it. I feel like this game has a lot more like, like creatures that hurt you more than the first one. The first one, there are a lot of creatures that hurt you, but uh, you know, you can, it's kind of easy to deal with. Like, bro, look how close he's getting to my house. Or maybe I just built this place in like a bad area. But let me build here. Let me build here. I want to build there. Why aren't you letting me? So what if I build this here and then I build this to connect them? I can't do that. Why? Let me do bro. What the fuck? Okay. Do I have to like take out a foundation or some shit? No, hold on. So let me, why can't I do this? Like, is it like too deep or something? Oh, it's too thingy thing. Fuck. So how do I fix that though? I can't deconstruct this whole thing. And if I do, I'm gonna have to like take everything out in here, which to be fair, it's not a lot. So no, cause I have all my storage. God damn it, bro. If I knew that this would be a problem, I wouldn't even have built it this tall. I have to make it sh like shorter. So I'm gonna have to deconstruct my little this thing cause I made it way too fucking tall. So uh, I'll take these things. I'll deconstruct the battery charger. I'll deconstruct the fabricator. I mean, at least I'm not losing the materials. I'm just getting them back and then I can just 
make everything all over again. I'm just gonna have to drop some stuff, so I'll put it- I'll drop some stuff here, so we can just do that. Hopefully it doesn't float away. Hopefully it just stays- the, the quartz is kind of floating away. No, stop it, stop it. Why are you guys floating? So I have to deconstruct the locker, deconstruct this locker. Yeah, bro, I have to take out the- like the things that- I forgot about the solar panels. So now I gotta go and actually deconstruct my solar panels. This is so annoying. All like these videos are gonna start coming out pretty soon. I'm gonna have to like rush these out because especially with work, bro, is with like the holiday season coming up. I have like no days off and this is gonna be so ass. I mean, I can't complain because you know, a lot of people don't have jobs and shit. So I'm grateful I even have one. But man, it's gonna suck to fucking work the holiday season. Like my favorite holiday every single year is always New Year's. Not like necessarily about me, but like you don't really hear anyone say like, yo, New Year's, I fucking love New Year's, bro. Unless it's like some people really like us because they like to get drunk. Like there's like, yeah, bro, like it's just another like excuse to get drunk. That's not me. I don't really care about getting drunk. They all drink, sure. Like, but it's more of like a casual thing. I'm not gonna fucking like I'm not gonna go out and try to get drunk, like blackout drunk. That's not what I wanna do. Like if I get tipsy, I get tipsy, but like I don't know how people can get like blackout drunk. That I don't understand. Cause I feel like waking up and not knowing like where you are that's that's like some scary shit like imagine waking up and you just don't know like what the fuck happened last night like i'd be freaking out like what do you mean i did this and did this and did that like i don't remember that shit all right i should be able to make this yeah so i can actually make this now and then i can make the moon pool there we go look at that Please, go on, sit, go on, sit, I 